Good morning, and welcome back to another video of my life on the road. I was now in South Dakota, and I continued heading west until eventually I hit Badlands National Park. Viewing what I want from the outside. So right now, I'm at Badlands National Park taking a hike, and the landscape here is absolutely crazy. I've never really seen anything that's like this before. Badlands was a really neat park, and there was a ton of wildlife that I got to see as well. Hey. Up. But clearly the prairie dogs wanted nothing to do with me. So I've made it to Custer State Park in South Dakota. And I'm going to hopefully get a little hike in before it gets too dark. So the sun sets in approximately 15 minutes. And there's this overlook at the top of the trail. So, of course, knowing me, I had to go to the overlook. So I'm very out of breath right now, trying to get up to the top before it gets dark. <laughs> so we'll see if I make it. So after practically running up this mountain, I've made it to the top. There's an overlook of the whole lake right there. And it's super cute. So this trail just happened to be at the campground that I'm staying at. I had no idea about this trail, but I just stumbled across it. And it's just crazy when you come across things and it leads to awesome views like this. Seriously, love moments like this where you just aren't expecting anything. Like I was just expecting to go to my campground tonight and call it a night. But I was like, Overlook Trail, that, that's so me. So I got to check it out. And it's seriously just so gorgeous. It is currently 6 a.m. and I am heading to this trail to do a hike in the morning. There's something really magical about waking up for the sunrise to start a hike, and it's become one of my favorite things to do when I travel. When there's no one out yet except for the mountain goats to greet you in the tunnel as you drive through, the world always feels so untouched and reset. Standing still, waiting. As I continued along, I ended up passing a sign for a fire lookout. And if you haven't noticed by now, I love a good lookout. So of course, I turned, and soon after, realized this was going to be more than just a quick scenic turnout. So it said the fire lookout was 10 miles away. And I was like, okay, that won't be too bad. Like, you know, 10 miles won't take too long. But I didn't realize it'd be on roads like this. So it's, it's taken me quite a bit of time to get to this overlook, considering I'm going 12 miles an hour right now. But I think I'm almost there. I tried to put directions on with Google Maps and it says I'm not even on a road. So like, I don't even know if I'm on a road or not. So I think I'm just on this cow's field at this point. Hey buddy. Do you know where the Overlook Tower is? Do I just keep going? No response. Trying to find an Overlook is gonna be the death of me, I swear. Okay, so I think that is the overlook tower over there, but it looks so far away still because yeah, I have to go all the way around the whole mountain. There's like no direct road from where I am to over there. I just really don't think there's any way this could be 10 miles. It has to be way longer than that. So good news is I made it to the tower. Bad news is, so even though the tower is closed, it still makes for a pretty good view. 
So moral of this story is maybe you should check online before you drive 10 miles up a dirt road to a fire lookout tower. But also, even if you don't, and it's closed when you arrive, at least you have a pretty good story to tell and a pretty awesome view along the way. So I've been driving all day long through Wyoming and Montana, but I finally made it to a town. I've made it to Billings. Billings? I think I'm in Billings. But they had Blaze Pizza, so I had to get it. Because <laughs> who knows when the next time I'll get Blaze on this trip is. I, I don't know, so pretty glad about that. <laughs> so I just stopped at Target to get some groceries and to get some super glue because I broke my tripod, sadly. There's like a little plastic piece that connects to here and it snapped. So hopefully that will fix it because this thing is very handy for taking videos of myself. <laughs> We're eventually gonna go. But tomorrow I'm gonna go to Yellowstone National Park. Well, when will you be back? Um, I don't know, when I feel like it. This road is called Beartooth Pass, and for most of the year, it's closed because of snow. But thankfully, I managed to hit it at the perfect time before it closed for winter. And I'm so glad I did, because it was definitely one of the coolest roads I've ever been on. I made it up to the top, and it's crazy windy out here, so you might not be able to hear me, but it's super pretty. It's a little less windy on the side of this mountain here. It's so cool that they have a road up here because this would be a very long hike otherwise. The view from the top was stunning to say the least and it was even cooler to get to experience it without giant crowds of people in the way. So I was gonna stay at this campground down this road tonight and that's not gonna happen. The road is closed until 7 a.m. So we are staying at this campground instead, somewhere down this road. So I've made it to my campsite for the night. Nice tucked away little spot right here. There's also a lake down here, so I'm gonna go check that out. I think I got some donuts, delicious. Apple cinnamon too, so it's really matching the oncoming fall vibes. It is so quiet out here and so peaceful. This is Beartooth Lake in Wyoming and I'm just outside of Yellowstone National Park, but on this trip I really wanted to see things that were not national parks and not like really big tourist attractions. Things like national forests and state parks and stuff like that. It's just really cool what you can come across. Like stuff like this that is not on anyone's like big tourist destination list but are still just really awesome spots. And typically there's not many people at places like this which is really cool to just kind of have some solitude and be alone. So if you haven't noticed, Christian has not been in one of my videos in quite a long time. And I've gotten probably hundreds of questions asking, where is Christian? So I figured I could sit down and answer that for you guys, finally. So the simple answer is Christian is at home with Lufkin. He has a job, he's in school, and he's just living his life. And I just happened to be on a trip without him. Obviously it would have been really cool if he could have come with, but at the same time, being alone on a trip was something that I wanted to do, and it just wasn't possible right now. Like, he's busy with other stuff, so it just didn't work out this time. One of the biggest reasons for not having a video together, like, basically this entire past summer, was we really just needed a break. We had been making videos together of our life, showing such an intimate part of anyone's life. Like, a romantic relationship is such an intimate thing. And it's kind of weird to share that online, and I've said it before, but it's weird to share your life online with thousands of people, like it just really is. And you start to have to think about like what you're putting out there and what details of your life you really want people to see. And some of these like intimate details of my life, like our relationship together, 
was one of those things that we kind of had to take a step back from and just appreciate it for ourselves rather than just having to share that entire thing online with a bunch of other people. And another thing too is this channel has always been Noah Roth. Like there's a reason it's not been Noah and Christian because it's just, this is me showing my life. And part of that, obviously a huge part of that is Christian and our, our relationship together. And one of the original reasons that I wanted to even share our relationship is just to share that same feeling of being in love. And it's been really cool because I have been able to do that with a lot of people and that's why a lot of people have been drawn to my channel in the first place. But also our relationship is not either of our entire lives. This is just one aspect of our life and it's a big aspect and it's an aspect that we've shared a lot in the past. But it's also been something that especially this past year of being inside and being you know, stuck at home because of COVID, we've just really been spending a lot of time together. And so by default, everything we've had to share about each of our lives has been each other pretty much. We really haven't had much outside things to do outside of our relationship. So now that we're doing that, it's cool to be able to share other aspects of our life that don't involve each other. And I never really wanted to make gay relationship videos exclusively like that's not really what I started making videos for and that's something that I have shared online and that's what has drawn a lot of people but it's not the only thing so it's been really cool to be able to explore other things and to be able to create other things that are not exclusively that so thank you for understanding everyone and I really hope that you're enjoying these travel videos so far because this trip has been absolutely amazing so far to just get to explore and Get to learn more about myself and all of that fun stuff. Yeah, it's honestly hard to believe that I'm like sitting here on some lake in Wyoming and it's just me and a bunch of bugs. But I don't think they're mosquitoes because I don't think I'm getting bit. That's what I say now until I wake up with like 5,000 mosquito bites tomorrow. So yeah, thanks for following along and I will see you guys next time. So I'm just driving to this campground and there's a bison just chilling right there. I feel like you don't usually see them in the woods like this. So I'm up there enjoying the sunset and then I forgot I still have to hike down and now it's dark and I'm hiking into the very scary woods in the dark. <laughs> I'm at Devil's Tower. It's so much bigger than I thought it would be. I'm very hungry, so I'm going to find a place to make some food. I'm very sad that there's not a Chipotle here because that sounds so good right now.